iOS 18 is here. And while there are a bunch of Apple Home updates that require either new hardware or future software updates, there are actually two of my favorite features in iOS 18 for Apple Home that are available today with the hardware you already have. And the first one is right there in Control Center where you can now customize the layout of Control Center to have whatever you want, including Apple Home scenes. So I've added a list here of four commonly used scenes and they're nice big buttons, easy to get to. And not only that, but you have multiple pages of controls in Control Center now. So I'm swiping down, here's a media page, and then here's a page with all kinds of the traditional Wi-Fi and other settings you might wanna have around AirDrop. And you'll see on this last page, I've only put one home control. And so it intelligently gives this page the home icon as the control here. And I can go ahead on any of these pages, long press, and then choose add control. And I can add any kind of control I want to, but for the home ones, you can do up to four different scenes or accessories in a particular square, or sort of a two square scene or accessory. That's my favorite, or as well, this single home icon. So I can just add this here and then choose a particular scene I want, maybe office off. And if I do that, then we can set that as a scene and you'll see it carries the icon over that I have in the home app for that scene right here on Control Center. So that makes it easier to find the scene you're looking for. Now, when I'm done editing, I can just tap anywhere and it's going to leave the editing mode. And if I choose office off, you'll notice it turns off all the lights in here. And then of course, I'm in a little bit of a problem, but I can go back here and choose office bright, and then it will turn back on all the lights here. And I need to turn on my filming lights because that's separate. Now, if we come back and take a look at this screen a little bit more built out, I've added some accessories here that have quick access beyond just the scene. So I can quickly get to our living room thermostat and control that. I can also quickly get to our basement Apple TV as well as straight into the remote for that specific Apple TV. If I were to use the remote shortcut inside of Control Center, that would then make me choose between which Apple TV I wanted to control. I can also control things like my garage door, my front door lock, and even convenient lights that I might adjust a lot for my phone, let's say the dining room chandelier. And you might notice some of these tiles changing a lot as you first add them, and that might be because they're on the recommendations from Apple. So we're gonna long press on the screen and then tap on one to edit, and you'll see it has use recommended turned on. And that means that Apple is going to cycle this as it finds accessories or scenes that it thinks you might wanna use here. And most likely, if you're gonna be this detailed about your setup with the control center, you wanna turn that off and then you can add specific items to that screen. Could be one to four items you can put here, could be scenes, could be accessories and then you get to quick access to controls of those. I'm gonna tap again outside these tiles to save it. And so I can go quickly here to the chandelier and adjust the chandelier. I can also quickly get to the garage door and do the same thing. And here, of course, now we don't have an accessory, so we gotta configure that one, so you'll see that message. So with accessories or scenes being quickly accessible from Control Center and your ability to configure that just the way you want, it really opens up a whole bunch of new possibilities straight from the lock screen of your iPhone. And it's one of the great reasons why it's worth using Apple Home is because Apple then puts the controls to your smart home right at your fingertips. Now, of course, third-party manufacturers can make these controls for Control Center as well. So we'll probably see some other smart home systems making these, but for Apple, they're there right on day one. Now, this single square home icon basically behaves like the home app where you can press it and it will open the app for you, just like the app icon. And then you can also long press it and it will give you quick access to certain scenes or adding a new scene. It's basically the same functionality you have if you long press the home app icon on your home screen but then in Control Center. Now the really cool place you can put this little home app launcher is on the lock screen. So in place of either the camera or flashlight modes, you can now have a home app icon and if you long press it, it'll take you right into the home app after doing Face ID. 
So pretty cool stuff there for the home app. Now, while we're in the home app, I wanna show you my second favorite feature, and this will require you to update your Apple Home Hubs, your Apple TVs, and your Home Pods to iOS 18 and the related software updates like tvOS 18. But once you've done that, you'll be able to use guest mode. So under home settings, you go to your guest page and then you'll be able to tap the invite people option. And then from there, you can choose a resident, which is just like adding another user to your Apple Home like you already can do. If you have a home key lock, you could add pin codes for access here, but you can also get this guest options. So I added a particular guest. Now, for trying to add people who have not yet updated their software to iOS 18, I've been getting some cryptic error messages. It seems like though, you can certainly invite guests who already have an Apple Home of their own, and then they can manage your home as a guest. So. Here here you'll see that I have the option to customize the time so I can say specific dates, maybe someone's staying at my home for a particular time and I can just say cut off their access on Thursday and hit done or I can also have specific days and times of the week. So there are a lot of options here, every day, every week, all day, you know, particular times of day every day, maybe I only want it on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 to 5 p.m. So you can specify all kinds of different schedules that make sense for what you're trying to do. Then I'll hit done and then hit done. And so then from Tuesday and Thursday from 9 to 5 p.m. you can check which accessories this person has access to. Now these are only things like security systems, door locks, as well as things like garage doors. So secure items where they might need to have access. This doesn't give them control, unfortunately, of things like lights or thermostats that they might want to use as well, but you'll have to find other ways to give them control of that. But here I could add the security system and then maybe the front door lock and the garage door. So then they'll get an invite that allows them to manage these if they're on iOS 18. So I hit invite and then it just gives me a warning of this guest will be able to unlock the door with the home app. Home keys and entry codes may not work since your lock doesn't support schedules. So that's another thing is that if you're trying to have someone do this on a schedule, you'll need a smart door lock that supports matter schedules in order to get that piece to work. But that's fine for me right now. I'm gonna hit continue. And then you can see if you wanna get notifications of when a guest or other members use these accessories. And I'm gonna hit turn on notifications for this. And there, it just sent my invite invite to the person I want to add as a guest to my smart home. Now I do want to add that well I've played around with this guest feature and I'm super excited for it. I haven't actually been able to add a true guest to my home and I've had issues getting guests properly invited via email. I'm guessing Apple will iron out those details as they fully launch this service with the launch of iOS 18. I'm recording this a little bit before that. Just a heads up that there might still be some bugs to be ironed out here. Either way, I think it's a really exciting new feature. Let me know in the comments if there are features about iOS 18, especially with this smart home tech that you're really excited about for the new releases this fall. I'd love to hear that. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.